you know, it's it's fascinating because these days it's rare to have a movie which is based on an original uh, uh, story, and mm -hmm. so so everything's based on a comic book, or you know, And so so, what was it about this that you felt was a really good kind of story to tell, and and then how did it get to Clint? Well, I, the journey to Clint was extraordinary, and I wouldn't expect that to ever happen again. And, uh, you know, I wrote a script entirely for myself. I wrote it without being paid, um, and I gave it to my agents. They gave it to a producer. I think the producer read it and thought, well, this is totally inappropriate. No one's going to want to, you know, because it's, it's both, it's got a huge scale, and yet it's very private, and it's very adult. And it's a, it's a bizarre, you know, um, abnormal kind of film, you know, in terms of its construction. But the first three people the producer showed it to all really wanted to make it. And, and, uh, and when, you know, when I got the phone call, when Steven Spielberg, <laughs> I can't even say that sentence, <laughs> when Steven Spielberg, when, when, but when he did call and say, would you mind if I showed this to Clint Eastwood? You know, at this point I thought we were having, somebody was doing a prank. And then when I got a phone call saying that he wanted to make it, and he wanted to make it without changing a thing, um, I, I, I thought, well, you know, extraordinary. I mean, extraordinary. To, to tap into the loneliness of, of a kind of um, death experience and stuff, was that something that you had experienced yourself, and then therefore you wanted to tell a story of how you felt, and therefore it kind of came across in these three different characters, or was it something that you had heard from other people, or what was it about? Well, it? only one of the three storylines is about death, and the other two storylines uh, are about love. And I, I do think that there's a connection between grief and romance, and I think that people who are grieving are, are in love with somebody who's not present, and people who, who are lonely and who want love, that's a different kind of grief, and they're also longing for someone. And I think that somehow that emotional connection would allow me to, to, to weave these three storylines together. To work with, I mean, to, to find out who was going to play the characters and stuff, was it, were you very happy? With, I mean, obviously having Matt involved and Cecile. Yeah. And so so was, that, was it interesting to kind of see their approach to, to your characters? And, and, uh, and, and did you get to talk to them prior to that? To, you well, know, the extraordinary were, thing about Matt's performance is that although he's this gigantic movie star who brings all this, you know, all this other baggage, you know, uh, in, in terms of, you know, Bourne and, and, and the enormous success he's had, uh, you know, he, his, you, not for one second do you feel that he is inappropriate in this movie. His performance is so mature and so restrained and so elegant and dignified and subtle. Um, he is a truly emergent, mature, contemporary American movie star, I think. And his ability to disappear into this movie so modestly um, and scale down to being really just one third of the movie uh, speaks volumes for him as an actor. To watch the performance of the kids, uh, the, the boys, um, was it, <clears throat> I don't know, what was, what was, when you were writing it, what was it about that storyline that you felt that you needed to kind of express and, and, and then finding, in the end, casting these kids? Uh, um, like, was it, was it, you know, were you happy with, with the final result with what happened? Well, there are several questions in there. I mean, Clint's, Clint uh, chose these, these, these twins, these particular twins, because they had no previous acting experience. Uh, and yet they, so they brought a great deal of purity to it. And they weren't trained by a stage mother or, or a school. Um, and they weren't, you know, trick ponies. They were, they are as close to, anthropologically, they are as close to the characters as written as you could hope to find. They come from a similar kind of background. Um, that was also the part of the story that I that came to me most naturally. And, and I guess, for me, the heart of the film is the twin story. But for Clint, the heart of the film is Matt Damon's story. And for Kathy Kennedy, the producer, the heart of the story is the uh, Marie, the French uh, lady's story. So we've all come at it from slightly different places. Thank <laughs> you.